Hello, Lauren. This story is called The Bipolo Seed. One bright sunny day, a young duck named McCluck had a wonderful, wonderful bit of good luck. He was walking along when he spied on the ground a marvelous thing that is hardly ever found. It was a small silver box, and it looked mighty old. And on top of the box was written in gold. Who finds this rare box will be lucky indeed, for inside this box is a bipolo seed. Plant it and wish, and count up to three. Whatever you wish for, whatever it be, will sprout and grow out of the bipolo tree. Well, thought the duck, well now what do you know? I just have to wish, and my wish will grow. Now, what will I wish for? Now, what do I need? Don't need very much, only food for my feed. So I wish, said the duck, as he opened his beak, I wish for some duck food, enough for a week. Then he dug a quick hole, but before he could drop the seed in the ground, a loud voice shouted, Stop! The duck looked around, and he saw a big cat. Now why, asked the cat, did you wish for just that? One week's worth of duck food? Pooh, that's not enough. Why, I'd wish for five hundred pounds of the stuff. But gosh, said the duck with a bipolo seed, five hundred pounds is much more than I need. But that's just the point, said the cat, for you see. When you grow all that food on your bipolo tree, you can go into business, in business with me. We'll sell all that food. You'll be rich, laughed the kitty. Why, you'll be the richest young duck in this city. Mmm, said the duck, and he wrinkled his brow. I never thought much about money till now. But golly, you're right. With some money, gee whiz. Why, I'd be the happiest duck that there is. I'll wish for that food, but the cat called, not yet. We'll think of some more things to wish for, I'll bet. Why, I know a very nice thing you could wish. A tree that grows duck food could also grow fish. Wish six hundred fish to grow out of the ground, and we'll sell those fish for a dollar a pound. Now, a dollar a pound is a very high rate. Say, you'll be the richest young duck in the state. Why, sure, smiled the duck, I most certainly will. But duck, said the cat, you can be richer still. Why wish for a little? Why not wish for a lot? The bigger the wish, the more money you've got. That's right, clucked the duck, and he chuckled with glee. I'll wish for some oysters to grow on my tree. I'll wish for my tree to grow doughnuts and crawlers. I wish for my tree to grow skates and umbrellas. Fine, cheered the cat. Now you're doing just grand. Say, you'll be the richest young duck in the land. You wait, cried the duck. I'll do better than that. You listen to this, he called out to the cat. I wish for ten bicycles made out of pearls, and eight hundred muffs that will sell to young girls. I wish for some eyeglasses, nine hundred pair, and one thousand shirts made of kangaroo hair, a ton of stuffed olives with cherries inside, and ten tons of footballs with crocodile hide. We'll sell them for cash in our wonderful store, in the notions department on the 49th floor. Then he took a deep breath, breath, and he wished for still more. I wish, yelled the duck as he started to scream, for 8,000 buckets of purple ice cream, a trunk full of toothpaste, a big kitchen sink, and lots of brass keyholes and gallons of ink. I wish for two boatloads of Boston baked beans, and also nine hundred carloads of sewing machines. Then his mouth started steaming, his tongue got so hot, that the more he wished for, the greedier he got. I wish, shrieked the duck, for a million silk towels, and three million cages for very big owls, and forty-five thousand two hundred and two hamburger buns, and a bottle of glue, and four million satin-lined rub-rubber boots, 
and five million banjos and six million flutes, oranges, apples, and all kinds of fruits, and nine billion hopalong Cassidy suits. Yes, that's what I wish for by Jiminy G. And when they sprout out on my bipolo tree, say, I'll be the richest young duck in the world. And he got so excited that he whirled and he twirled. And that duck got so dizzy and so crazy with greed that he waved both his arms and the bipolo seed slipped out of his fist and flew high in the sky. And it landed per plunk in the river nearby. Then it sank in the river and drifted away. And the cat and the duck all the rest of that day dived deep in the river, but they never did see a trace of the seed of the bipolo tree. And the chances are good that the greedy, this greedy pair never will find such a wonderful seed again, ever. But if they should find one, this cat and that duck, they won't wish for so much and they'll have better luck. It proves that you shouldn't get too greedy. That's the end. I love you, Lauren. I miss you. Goodbye.